What's up YouTube? Got a 2007 Mercury four stroke 60 horse Bigfoot edition here. We're gonna change the, uh, the oil in the motor today. We're gonna change the gear lube in the foot. And we got a fuel filter underneath the hood here that we're gonna change out today. You can, uh, you can carry it to your dealer and get all this done, but uh, <clears throat> we went to the dealer and bought all the parts. The parts are as far as the oil and the gear lube and the filters, 50 bucks. Uh, you can carry it and get it done and be between three and 400. So you can save yourself some money doing it this way. Of course, we have the tools, so you may have to invest a little bit in the tools, but you don't need that many tools, just a few sockets and a screwdriver and some rags and you pretty much got everything you need, but uh, but I'll show you all the materials you'll need and all the all the tools you'll need, and nothing to it. it. Takes about an hour of your time. When they're going to charge you more or less, probably three hours of labor to do everything that I'm going to do today, maybe two and a half hours labor, and they're usually around 100 to 125 hours an hour in labor. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't take long. It's not hard to do. Get a little messy, but. You know, that's what the garage is for. But uh, anyway, we're going to get to it, and I'll show you everything you need. All right, change your oil. You're going to need your oil, of course, oil filter, the right size socket with your socket wrench. Mine's 11 sixteenths. Funnel. And I'm just going to use channel locks to get the oil filter off. You can actually buy, you know, the little socket that fits on the oil filter itself and take it off of the wrench. We just always use channel locks. So you also need some some rags for cleaning up and just wipe everything down. But uh, this is the fuel filter or the fuel filter housing. Fuel filters there. You can you can buy just a fuel filter. I think it was three or four extra dollars to get the housing and all. Which my housing's never been changed, so we're gonna change it all the way out. And of course, a few sockets. Uh, I'm not really sure what size this nut is on top of this one, so I just got the whole set out. And change gear lube in your foot. Obviously, you need gear lube. You'll need a pump for your gear lube. A flathead screwdriver to take your, your plugs out of your foot. And when you take your plugs out of your foot, there's going to be little rubber washers on it, which is what these are. Replace those every time. You always want to replace those because we, these will smush down flat. Well, they're already flat, but they'll smush down a lot flatter. And, uh, and it'll leave a spot for water to get in your foot, and you don't want that for sure. Um, but anyway, we're going to get after it. And uh, the only other thing that you're not seeing here that you might need uh, is something to drain your oil in, oil in obviously. But uh, if we run into anything else that you might need, I'll show it to you. All right, guys, getting ready to drain the hole. We're just going to go ahead and pull the, pull the dipstick out, wipe it off. We've got our bucket in place under our motor here. There's your drain plug right here. Get it loose, get the bucket in place. It's got a little lip right here that you'll want to get right over your bucket and you can even tilt your motor right to it. Give it plenty of time, time to drain out there. And clean your plug off. Alright, 
that and let all the oil drains out, clean her plug off good, and we're just gonna put her plug back in. Looking up pretty good. Get the bucket out of the way. Turn my motor around. All right, guys, take the filter off. I just always grab my pliers. Maybe yours will be a little cleaner than mine. And loosen it up there. There's already oil coming out of it, which I can see. That's where he's going to put the rags in there. It puts your filter down in the oil there. See all that oil right there on that. You can wipe off your finger, you wanna clean all that off. Just take your rag, get in there. All right, as you can tell, we, we cleaned all the Oh, off of it, and some rags. And right down in here is where you where you put your rags. And they'll get they, you'll get a lot of oil in here when you pull your filter out. But just wipe it up real good. And now we're we're ready for the filter. I'll show you how to do that. All right, now you're ready to put your filter on. Before I even lube up or anything, I just always make sure that it's it's the right one, which I know it is, but. Uh, just always just make sure it'll screw on there before you put a little oil on it to lube the gasket in case you do need to return it. But I'll just get a little bit of the, the oil that we're gonna put in the motor. Just put a little bit on your finger. And just take your hand and rub that gasket down real good with that oil. Don't use your old oil, just put the new on there. And just screw it on. And just get it as tight as you can with your hand. Don't, don't use your wrench or your pliers to tighten it down. Just get it hand tight, real snug hand tight. And that's all you'll need. If you tighten it down there with, with the pliers or with the if you have the socket with a wrench, after you use it, you'll never get that thing off without tearing it in two. It'll just be stuck on there real good. But anyway, we're going to add the oil here, then we'll, we'll start on the fuel filter, then, then do the gear loose. All right, guys, come to the back of your motor, you'll find your cap right here. <clears throat> this is your oil fill cap. Just take it off. Set it over to the side where you'll lose it. Right there, you'll notice your funnel is not gonna work. I'm gonna trim my motor up where the, the funnel actually will almost hold itself. And then I'll, I've got three quarts of oil. It, um, it, it calls for just a hair over three quarts. Uh, obviously you can't drain it all out of there, so it's never going to hold over three quarts again. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim it up. I'm, I always put a little less, so I'll probably put two and a half quarts in there, and then I'll check it. If it needs a little more, put another half quart in there if it needs it.
All right, guys, we got our oil in there. We put our oil fill cap back on there just to make sure it's kind of snug. Roll over to the, that's where you insert the dipstick. It's just like any other standard dipstick. You got an add side, which is that little hole there. The full side there. Uh, anywhere in between these is in specs. But obviously you want it a little towards the, the max side, which is the top, the top mark. We'll just lock it in there. Hold out and check it. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're right on the full mark, which is perfect. Uh, we did put the full three quarts in there. I always like to check my filter and make sure it's not leaking after I add. Nothing on it. And that's all there is to the oil change. Now we're going to get it out of the way. We're over to the filter right here. We're going to change it completely out. I'll give you a little closer shot of that. Here's the filter I was talking about. <clears throat> and you can just screw this off and replace that one, but this is I'm gonna say it's the factory one. Um, I don't know if this would ever bust or crack or dry rod or not, but it looks kind of rough. Looks like it's kind of dirty inside it, so I don't, I'm not even gonna fully clean the off. I'm just gonna take it all off and replace it with a new one. All right, stick you some rags there to pull the whole filter off. And mine's just got this little bracket that just slides on and off. And that nut will come off and all this will go on the, the new filter. And you can take these, take your screwdriver, loosen these little hose clamps here. Just kind of give them a twist. They pull right off. Make sure you put them back on the right way. See, there's your difference. You got to take this off, put it on the, the new filter. I'll show you how to do that. All right, got this little filter right here. A little 10 millimeter wrench. Just take that nut off. Just take all that off. Pop it right on the new one. Snug it down. It's ready to go back on there. And I will show you what inside the Oh, one reason you change these. You see that? That's years of not getting changed. That's way past due. Don't do that. <laughs> change this before it looks like that. It takes, I think this whole thing is 15 bucks. And you can see it's gonna take 10 minutes or less to change. I'm gonna start changing these every year, every spring, just like I do my oil. I'm gonna change it every year. 15 bucks, I mean, this life your motor you're talking about. So don't let it look like this. Don't do what I do. I have no idea what all that is, but it's not good. But the filter done its job. It stopped that stuff from getting in your motor. Worth the 15 bucks. Show you a little closer. That's where that bracket fits. It just slides, it just slides right on there. Got to put the two hoses on it first, though. <clears throat> the 
snug them back up. Put your hose clamps back up there. Grab your screwdriver, tighten the hose clamps back up. Just like it's supposed to be. We're about to move to the foot oil now. Put the gear lube in it. <clears throat> All right, guys. You got one uh, plug here for your for your gear lube. That's that's where you'll actually add your gear lube. And this one here, this is where the vent the vent plug is. This is where you actually check your fluid. You'll fill it up until it's coming out of this hole here. <clears throat> and you'll fill it up from here. And all you'll need is obviously the pump. But we're gonna take that plug out there and drain it out and we'll, uh, we'll show you that and we'll show you adding it in there too. Here's your plug that came out. Or both plugs that came out. Like I said, they've got the little rubber washers on there. And these are the new ones. Just pop those off there. Pop your new one on. A little dirty, so I'm gonna clean that one a little bit. Pop your new little washer on, and they're ready to go back on there. You actually, you sure want to do that? Don't don't skip that step. You'll just uh, you'll allow a spot for water to get inside your foot, and uh, it'll never be good. But we're talking about a dollar or two. Not sure what they cost, but it wasn't much. All right, guys, it's done draining. Just stick your pump down in your gear lube, gear lube like so. Just screw it on tight. Just wipe that oil off that, off your foot there. This will actually screw up in there, just like that little plug will. Just barely snug it up. You just pump this. There it's coming out now. Now we know it's snug it up tight. ready for the bottom here it'll come out slow but since you already put the vent in it won't come out fast and just get your screwdriver snug that one up pop it all off That's 
That's all there is to it. All right, guys, we got our oil chains. Um, <clears throat> we got our gear loop chains in our foot, and we got the little fuel filter chains. Now we're gonna put the hood back on, we're gonna roll it outside, we're gonna hook the hose to it, and uh, and just turn it on, turn the motor on, let it idle there for about five, 10 minutes. Let it get good and warm. Check for leaks, don't got any leaks, you ready to hit the water again. Hi guys, this is all you'll need. It's just a little set. I call them motor, motor muffs. I don't know what they're called. But uh, just hook your hose to it, hook it to your motor, and you crank it up and you can ride it in the driveway. All right, we got it back in the garage here. And if you notice when we had the, the water on the motor running on idle, we were checking the oil filter. And I was also checking the foot to make sure that it wasn't leaking at all. And then after I shut everything down, brought it back in the garage, I checked for leaks one more time. And I checked my oil level one more time. As long as all that's good, you're ready to hit the water. And uh, there's nothing else to do. That's, that's as long as the process takes. If we were out here, maybe an hour, an hour and a half tops. And we done a few other things when we were out here in the garage, so it wouldn't all spill on the motor. But it doesn't take that long to do those three things, and it's it, it's worth it to know it's done right, know you're happy with it, and also it saves you two or 300 bucks. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.